is Ryan and I will be your tour guide today. We will go back in time and I will take you through Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks to see his fascinating artwork and inventions. Let's get in the time machine. Let's start out with a quick biography. Da Vinci was born on April 15, 1452 in the small Tuscan town of Ancio near Florence, but he only stayed for three months before he moved. He had unmarried parents. His mom was a peasant and his dad was a notary. At age 15, he was sent to Florence to work as an apprentice to Andrea del Veraccio. He worked with del Veraccio for 12 years. After those years, da Vinci started making many of the famous paintings and all the inventions and artwork in his notebook until May 2nd, 1519, when he died at age 67. Da Vinci kept very careful notes of all the work that he did. He took these notes on loose paper and put them together in codices. He wrote his notes backwards so no one else could decipher or copy his work. There were about 13,000 pages of work in all his notebooks, full of themes of architecture, geometry, weights, astronomy, zoology, mathematics, military arts, machines, robotics, bird flight, geology, hydrology, religious themes, and anatomy. We will now enter the notebook of da Vinci. Anatomy was one of the biggest subjects that da Vinci took interest in. Before da Vinci, artists were focused on topographical anatomy, which is the study of external proportionality of the subject being painted. But da Vinci wanted to increase the realism in his art. He studied dead bodies, even though it was a great danger because of the plague, and began to know the body better than any doctor at the time. Then he made the Venetian Man, a drawing of perfect human proportions. Vitruvius, an ancient Roman architect, inspired this drawing. Vitruvius made a similar design that took him many years to make and was not even very accurate. Leonardo da Vinci made the same sketch in about two years and the drawing was completely accurate. The proportions are here. There are many. He also studied and drew the female body. The female body was much more complex and interesting to him, but all his peers did not care at the time. Da Vinci designed pulleys, wheels, machines that moved, and other similar machines. Leonardo da Vinci also invented the water wheel. It used the power of a flowing river or water. Paddles on the machine absorb power from the river to work tools like the cutting blade or millstone. The designs that da Vinci created are used as bases for turbines that we use today for hydroelectricity. Leonardo da Vinci was also an important architect during his life. He designed the dome to the Milan Cathedral. Da Vinci also planned out many of his paintings in his notebook. Like here are two sketches that were the basis for his painting Battle of Angary. Here are two plans to his painting The Last Supper. He also made and used a world perspective that stated that a painting should be positioned at eye level of the viewer. He also came out with the vanishing point, which gives paintings a more real look, like right here on this painting. Leonardo da Vinci designed the giant crossbow, an advanced catapult, and the first design of a tank. This here is a picture of Leonardo da Vinci's design of diving equipment. He wanted to use it to attack and invade ships. Men would go to the bottom of the harbor and would puncture the bottom of enemy ships. Leonardo da Vinci liked to study bird flight. He used his studies to design gliders and similar machines. In his notes, Leonardo recorded a flight test. 
he created a flying machine that was similar to a glider. The flight test on this cotton and bamboo machine was successful. The most amazing part of this glider was that it flew for a longer distance and higher altitude than the famous Wright Brothers pilot flight. Leonardo da Vinci invented the robot. He made a metal robot with his anatomical understanding of how the body moves. He wanted to prove that the human being's bodies could be imitated. This piece of work would be displayed at a patron's party to amuse the guests. The robot moved with levers and was puppeteered by someone, probably da Vinci. In addition, Leonardo da Vinci designed things like automobiles, machine guns, irrigation systems, parachutes, helicopters, maps, and much more. Leonardo da Vinci certainly had the Renaissance concept of having many interesting qualities. Now you must return to the country school. Thank <laughs> you.